Hi, I'm Dr. Tan Kia Lin, Consultant Vascular and Endovascular Surgeon, working at CVS Kuala Lumpur. In a normal day, normally I started my work with a ward round first. After complete that, you know, doing the necessary for what the patient needed, I will proceed to the clinic. Sometimes if clinic is busy, it can go up to five to six hours. I found that the uh, vascular surgery is challenging. Not only the procedure sometimes can be complex, difficult. More than that is that the, the field is developing fast that time. We are switching from pure surgery into intervention era. So that's the time that I started my training. There are actually a few main uh, fields in uh, vascular surgery. Of course, the flagship is uh, aortic surgery. In the advanced step for aortic surgery, we have our endovascular aortic repair, EVA, or the other way is the thoracic endovascular aortic repair, TVA. That actually reduces the risk. And uh, nowadays, we can see if you plan the procedure properly, you just need a day of uh, procedure, a night of observation, the next day, patients are actually out from ICU and the second or third day, patients are able to go home by their own feet. The next uh, second field which is important is uh, arterial. Um, we have a lot of peripheral arterial disease, whether it's occlusive or whether it's uh, you know, thrombosis. We used to have only bypass surgery, but endovascular will provide another option where you do a minimal intervention. We don't create a lot of wound in the leg, like for a bypass. And the recovery for that will be actually much faster compared to, a, to, to bypass surgery. Of course, bypass have, has its own advantage. So sometimes we do like a hybrid intervention plus surgery. The third uh, field in vascular is the uh, venous. We have actually advanced to a stage that we don't need an anesthesia for varicose vein intervention. And for the deep vein thrombosis, we actually don't need to wait for a few months for the clot to disappear and waiting for the drugs to act. We do bypass, we do a aortic repair, but same time, we are holding wire for intervention, like uh, using wire for crossing an uh, obstructed blood vessel or sometimes aneurysm surgery needed. We use a balloon to dilate the blood vessel. Uh, so if needed, we also use stent graph to put in the aorta or put in the blood vessel. Of course, uh, nowadays for venous surgery, we do a minimal invasive uh, endovenous ablation. We use a catheter like this or the laser catheter put in the peripheral vein and do the ablation either by a thermal technique or non-thermal technique. I'm Dr. Tan Kelian, consultant vascular endovascular surgeon from Cardiac Vascular Central, Kuala Lumpur.